Cheater with how you do back rooms as I, we get into 4th of July here. I thought I'd share one with you. And I had this one for this pack's been out for a little bit. I hadn't had a chance to pick it up. So when I saw it today for the price I saw it at, I thought I'd open it up <laughs> and check the dates on it because, you know, I was curious. This has a Best Buy date of uh, September 15th of 18th, so I'm well within that parameter. So anyway, yeah, I know they've had this one out for a little bit, so I just want to make sure I want to grab my own beer. Uh, it was $13.12 pack, just so you know. I thought, man, that's a great price. Especially when you consider they're trying to sell that Nikola Vulture uh, product for... <laughs> Organic grains, man. That's a... Uh, uh, I've, I've, I haven't seen lower than eight bucks a six pack. So when I can get actual craft beers for thirteen bucks a twelve pack, six fifty a six pack if you're keeping track of that. Anyway, uh, this is their eighty shilling Scottish style ale. It says it'll be heavy, so uh, it's four point one percent, twenty five IBUs. Uh, yeah, I mean it's a, it's a session beer. I don't care. You can't draw the line at 4%. Tell me 4.1 is an session. You can't tell me that. Oh, no, no. I'm that 4.1. It was at 0.1. It's not a session beer anymore. It's not a session beer anymore. No, you can't tell me that. Tell me I can drink down 4%ers all day, but that 4.1, it's going to knock me on my ass. I ain't buying it. 4.1% is a session beer. Anyways, having said that, yeah, it's, uh, wow, I haven't had this before, but that was interesting. Nice, uh, malty nose. Almost, uh, like a cigar malt. A toasted malt, almost smoky. Just enough, just enough, just enough, just enough. Lar, a shadow? Shadow, get off my table. You're gonna knock stuff down. Darn it, yeah. <laughs> the, the troubles I go through, man. She didn't want anything to do with me until I turned the camera on. Now she went out there. She's been over here for the last two hours. I turned the camera on and she comes right here on the table. I want to knock everything down. Anyways, uh, it's a nice malty beer. Uh, hops are earthy and it finishes just enough to clean it up. It's not bad. I mean, it is one of my personal favorite styles, but it is good. It's very enjoyable, nice change of pace to the plethora of IPAs I've been drinking. Like everything's I mean, I gotta be honest with you though, I've been trying to seek out a lot of. Uh, uh, Pilsners, uh, craft Pilsners, and not American craft Pilsners, well, American craft Pilsners, but, but not American Pilsners, American style Pilsners, I guess what I meant to say. I've been seeking out American craft Pilsners, like the uh, Urban Chestnut Stantish, I recently found, and the Casey Beerco Pilsner. I mean, um, damn. But anyway, this pack has a dry hopped Alice in it, which is the main reason I bought the pack, to be honest with you, because I'm curious where they went with that beer. Well, far does some damn solid stuff, man. Uh, they kind of get overlooked as craft beer garlic, some of the, you know, more trendy craft beers, but I don't know that you can ignore the fact that uh, Boulevard's been knocking out some great beers since, what, 1989. Damn. It's pretty freaking impressive. Anyway, it's a very nice beer, this uh, 80 shilling ale is. It's nice, it's tasty, it gets a nice change of pace with every. Again, for a malty beer, it's only 4.1%, so it's not going to weigh heavy on you. They're typically, you think summer beers, you get the light hell of uh, even the various IPAs they meet that are higher in ABV. After I'm speaking all of a sudden. <laughs> That are higher in ABV. Uh, people tend to lay off of malty beers, but here you have a, a nice malty beer that's only 4.1%, so it's not heavy on you. It won't hammer you, and you get some flavor. I'll be honest with you if I was going somewhere and I was offering a beer to a non craft drinker, I'd offer them a beer like this 
uh, quicker than I would uh, any, anything hoppy, any kind of, uh, even, even an APA. As most of the friends I've been able to convert to craft beer drinkers, I've started with more malty fare. They've been able to, even though they think the dark beers are heavy, they taste something like that. Oh, that's got flavor, but it's not heavy. And there you go. Anyway, I digress. I don't care. I'm not. <laughs> I don't care. Right. Do it whatever you like. Okay. Anyway, there's a. Uh, <laughs> no sweat off my balls one way or the other. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not getting royalty checks for any of these breweries. I'm just telling you what I like, man. You like what you like. It makes me no never mind one way or the damn other. <laughs> There's no self importance on my part. Hey, man, I'm just having a conversation with you. I happen to like the beer. You want to drink crap? That's your own damn business. I don't care. So tell me about it. I am from the beer whisper. Feel a little irreverent today. <laughs> Oh, shit biscuits, man. Oh. My Tourette's has been going crazy lately. I've, 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 I've got some new medicine for my Tourette's. I haven't taken medicine for a long time. Because I didn't like the way they make me feel. Uh, but it's kind of, my Tourette's has kind of gotten out of hand lately, uh, as you can see. <laughs> so anyway, uh, but I can't start taking the medicine until I go see the doctor after you know, I had some hernia surgery a couple weeks ago. I he told me not to take anything until we So anyway, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about taking some medicine, but my Tourette's has gotten really nuts like I have a hard time on it. I'll be rushed for radio. Elvis Costello pumping up his plane. I don't know if you can hear it or not. I don't even want to turn it loud because my mother must sleep in me. <laughs> okay. Mm, is that... Uh, I have some beers for beer managers, electric beer drinking. Where are you, where's the beer? Mm -hmm. Ah, cheese biscuits. All right, good guy. You all have a good one. That's a match with an all-day sandwich.